Uh, my name is Laura Felger and I am uh, a jeweler. I run a studio called Felg Studios and I also work on some repairs for a local jeweler here in town. I went to uh, art school for college and it was a school that allowed you to take all kinds of classes. So you could do um, painting class, you could do a photography class. Um, and so what happened is I fell into the metals department, just took a, a week long program that was about jewelry making because I was interested and uh, I ended up just totally falling in love with it. And so it was a crazy rabbit hole from there <laughs> where I had to go uh, and find out more immediately um, in whatever way I could. So I brought some tools today that are um, just kind of basic tools that you, any jeweler, or any metalsmith, if you're just getting started, these are kind of your basics. This is what's called a jeweler saw. You insert a tiny little saw blade here, um, and that has these little teeth on it that you actually use on the bench to cut a sheet of metal or cut a piece of metal. So um, the handle here, you hold on to it and you use your bench pen or at your bench and you'll go in an up and down sort of motion to cut through the metal. Um, I brought a couple of pairs of pliers. So these are your basic two that you need, probably a pair of uh, what's called nippers uh, or cutters, and they uh, will cut a piece of wire or a small piece of metal. Um, this is really important to have on your bench, as is your needle nose. So these are uh, kind of a pair of pliers that's uh, all purpose, but I find that I probably use these more than any other type of pliers on my bench. So they are specifically for jewelers. There are needle nose pliers out there for um, all kinds of utilitarian purposes, but they're usually bigger. So these are uh, tapered to a real fine point where you can hold on to very small objects um, while you're working on them, while you're uh, finishing them. Um, I also have a chasing hammer here. So you can use either end of this hammer to uh, flatten out your work that you're uh, working with. You can use it to add texture to things. Um, you can use it to make a form. It's got a funny shaped handle. Basically that is to, to give you uh, better leverage when you're working on something. Um, this is what's called a jeweler's loop. All jewelers use some kind of magnification. And this is really handy because you can, it's small enough that you can take it to any sort of trade show you're going to go to where you will be looking at stones or need to see something um, in really fine detail. And so what you do, it's 10 power magnification, is you hold it really close to your eye and you focus in on what you're looking at. And that will uh, certainly allow you while you're at the bench or when you're at a trade show to check the really fine detailed things that you may not be able to see with your naked eye. I brought a couple of needle files. Uh, these are on every jeweler's bench um, in different cuts. So you have finer cuts, you have coarser cuts, and that will allow you to file off any uh, metal on your piece that you don't want, any sort of uh, marks or, or pieces if you're cleaning up a casting where it has a little um, edge to it and you need to make the edge smooth. Um, and you would use the coarser file first and go finer and finer and finer until you are able to get it very, very, very smooth. This is a jeweler's millimeter gauge. So this is very important. A lot of jewelry making is very, very, very precise. You have to have all of your measurements and angles lining up um, just right. And so this tool um, allows you to 
make sure that your measurements are accurate and um, all of your angles are correct. Um, and it just slides up and down like that. It's, as far as industry standards go, yes, you work in millimeters. Tweezers. <laughs> These are not just for taking splinters out. <laughs> These are uh, essential on the bench. So if you're going to pick up a very small piece of metal or a stone that you're going to set, um, you usually use your tweezers. Usually jewelers are uh, nuts about tools. They love having very specific tools. So they will have a ton of different size tweezers on their bench, a lot of different weights of tweezers. You have tweezers that actually lock so they'll have a sliding piece so you can pick up a stone and lock it and then and sh you know have it in the tweezer without having to keep a hold of it um, everybody has their favorite set of tweezers <laughs> and when they get misplaced or go missing have a panic attack so <laughs> um, these are very important <laughs> very important but a lot of times people will, uh, jewelers will take a pair of tweezers and modify them. So they will, you know, make, make different uh, shapes in the tweezers so that they can hold different things. Um, and they're just one of those essential tools um, that all jewelers love. <laughs>